This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business in Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes, because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. I'm Kelly Paxton. I am a certified fraud examiner, private investigator, but I am most known as the pink collar crime expert, which is garden variety embezzlement investigator. Well, Kelly, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Question number two, what is something that makes you smile and or laugh about working in your industry? Um, Fraud humor. I am known as the fraud hashtag queen also, and I use a lot of hashtags. And one of them, fraud is a depressing subject. However, if we can make it fun, people will remember it. As a matter of fact, I had a woman who I just highlighted. Her name was Monica Moneymaker. It should have been Monica Money Taker because she stole over a half a million dollars. So I try to make it fun because it is so serious. Wow. Her real, her real last name was Moneymaker. Yes. I'll be darned. That is a great story. (laughs) Question number three. I have a fictitious book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? Tone at the top. I want want businesses to have a good tone at the top and to have psychological Mm -hmm. safety for their employees because hashtag tips find fraud. If people don't feel comfortable going to management about a problem, well, they're not going to find out. Mm-hmm. I think that's really great. And then the longer that that uh, progresses without them finding out, the bigger the problem, I assume. Am I right? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. That's a great suggestion. Question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Um, surprise and delight. And I mean that not as customer service, I mean it surprise and delight your employees. So if you always look at checks at over 5,000, pull one for 1,000. So they know you're on your toes and you are paying attention to it. So I like to say surprise and delight your employees. Mm, I like that too, because you're right. If they think that, uh, you know, the employees are not going to be dumb. So they're, if they think that there's a pattern of only things that you look at, those are the ones that they'll be careful with, but the other ones they might uh, be uh, taking more risk with. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's a great, great advice. Thank you. Question number five, what other business leader like yourself, would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? So I thought hard about this, and I think you should have a reformed fraudster on your podcast, someone who has committed embezzlement and has, you know, paid their debt to society and now speaks about it. And that would be Tom Hughes. So um, again, pink collar crime is about position, not gender. So a man can be a pink collar criminal. And Tom Hughes does a great job talking about his experiences. Oh, I'd be very interested in interviewing them. Thank you for that referral. And our final question, question number six, please tell me about your first job. My first job was at the Chicago Board of Trade, and I was a runner in the agricultural trading room. And um, I got paid very, very little. I think it was like minimum wage, maybe a little bit more. And it was fascinating to me because people from all over the world came and at the heart of it was people making decisions. They're making trading decisions. It's commodities, Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. kind of like stocks. Mm -hmm. Very, very fast paced, huge um, investments that could go one way or another. And to see how people responded was fascinating to me. Mm, I love that too. And, and it must have been so fast paced that, you know, everything that we see like about the exchanges, there's always just a lot of commotion going on. Was that what you experienced as well? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, you would see when there was one minute left to the trading day and just a frenzy. And it was funny, the runners, they're called runners, you know, it would be, oh, it's my turn to get that last order in. It was just absolute, you know, adrenaline. Oh, I can imagine. So it sounds like it's the truth for uh, for what we see on TV and in the movies. <laughs> absolutely. So, so Kelly, thank you so much for being on the show. How could people find you? 
The easiest place is LinkedIn. I'm Kelly Paxton on LinkedIn. My website is pinkcollarcrime.com. And I am on Twitter at PDXCFE. So I tweet regularly, but LinkedIn is kind of my home base. Perfect. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business in Life podcast. Thanks for listening.